I Love Lucy was an American television situation comedy that ran on CBS from 1951 through 1957. It was the most popular show in the United States for four out of its six primetime seasons. The show originally aired from 1951 until 1957. The series took home five Emmys, including honors for Best Actress and Best Situation Comedy, 1953 and 1954, respectively. Lucille Ball, 1956. The Lives of Lucy Ricardo, played by Ball, and her bandleader husband, Ricky Ricardo, played by Deasy Arnaz, who was also Ball's real-life husband, were the focus of the television show I Love Lucy. Ricky and Lucy's home was located on the Upper East Side of Manhattan, though ultimately they relocated to suburban Connecticut. While Ricky worked as an entertainer at the Tropicana nightclub, she was a housewife who secretly yearned for a job in the entertainment industry. Lucy constantly dreamed of a life beyond domesticity and concocted hilarious plans to finagle her way out of the kitchen and into the spotlight, despite the fact that she lacked talent and Ricky was adamant that a woman's place is in the home. Ricky also held the belief that a woman's place is in the home. The legendary scene in which Lucy waged a losing struggle against a conveyor belt in a candy factory is an example of how Lucy's best laid schemes frequently unraveled in the form of physical comedy. In this scene, Lucy was in a candy factory. Ball displayed her own comic brilliance while playing the character, while also bringing attention to Lucy's flaws, and she did it with grace. Ricky, who was born in Cuba, was known for launching into rapid-fire rants in Spanish very regularly whenever he became irritated with his wife. The duo was known to pull practical jokes on one another on a regular basis. The Ricardo's landlords, the miserly yet sympathetic Fred Mertz, played by William Frawley, and his wife, Ethel, Vivian Vance, also contributed to the hilarity. They often tried to argue Lucy out of her most outlandish ideas, but they did not always succeed. The Mertz were former performers who sang and danced. They served as the Ricardo's adversaries or complicit partners over their careers. The arrival of Little Ricky, played by Keith Thibodeau, brought the topic of motherhood to the forefront of the program as Ricky and Lucy finally became parents themselves. After the final episode of I Love Lucy aired, viewers were treated to further shenanigans on the Lucy Deasy Comedy Hour, 1957-1960. Another situation comedy that Ball starred in was called The Lucy Show, and it ran on television from 1962 through 1968. The debut of I Love Lucy in 1951 marked the beginning of Lucille Ball's indelible impact on the medium of television. It was unusual for that time and place to have a female protagonist, thus the inclusion of one in this story was particularly noteworthy. Even more contentious was the fact that the woman did not pay much attention to what her husband had to say very often. Everything about the concert was an act of defiance. It was also exceedingly controversial since her husband was Cuban, and in the 1950s, very few people married people of other races, and even if they did, the topic was most likely not appropriate for the concept of a television show. Therefore, through the years, I Love Lucy has had a significant influence on generations, and unlike many other shows, it has not just slid into culture, but rather has been welcomed into culture. Not to mention countless of the people that impersonate Lucy and compete in pageants every single year. I Love Lucy had a total of 21 Emmy Award nominations and won five of them including the following. 1953, the year of the funniest situation comedy. 1953, best comedian, Lucille Ball. 1954, the year of the funniest situation comedy. Vivian Vance won the award for best supporting actress in 1954. Lucille Ball won the award for best actress in a continuing performance in 1956.